Hi everyone, welcome back. Here we have my two nine week old baby parrotlets. And I want to address a question today that I've received a few times. And that's, how do I know when my baby is tame enough to allow him to hang out with his other little parrot friends? If you recall in my previous video, I had talked about the importance of when you first get your freshly weaned baby parrotlet home, you want to make sure that you're separating him from your other birds. You want to house them away if possible from your other birds, or at least make sure they cannot see other birds from their cage. They can't see another cage because they'll want to fly back to that constantly as a source of security. And you want to be actually handling them in a location away from their cage. So they're also not trying to fly back to their own cage as a source of security. So how will I know when it's okay to let my baby socialize with other parrots? Well, the key is you kind of have to use your discretion, but what I've found has worked for me is you need to observe how tame your baby is at that point in time. So how will I know how tame my baby is? Well, you'll kind of just know. A few key things to look out for is, do they sit calmly on your hand and contentedly and look you in the eye for extended periods of time without looking nervous? Or do they start preening themselves while they're sitting on your finger or sitting on your shoulder, much like these little guys are preening themselves? Are they always trying to get away from you? Have they stopped being flighty? And really, are they just content to sit with you? And also, when you are in a different location from when their cage is, as well as the location where their cage is, are they content to sit for an extended period of time on you without trying to get away? So those are some key things to look out for that will help you gauge how tame your baby is at that point in time. So if you're feeling based on that, that your baby is tame enough to be now socialized with another parrot, what I would recommend is doing it, but doing it in short incremental time frames. So for me, these guys have been out for five minutes. I'll let them out for 10 minutes, no more. And for me, I generally have found that if you do this no more than once or twice a week at the most, I have the best results. Now bear in mind, everyone's situations are different and everyone's parrots are different. They're all unique. So again, you want to use your discretion, but for me, no more than five to 10 minutes, no more than once to twice a week. Generally, I don't do it. I really only do it about once a week. Now, the other thing people have been asking is how will I know if allowing them to socialize with another little parrot friend is having a negative effect on their on the taming process. So you want to make sure you're not doing this too soon because it can reverse all of your hard work to tame the baby up to that point, especially if they have been freshly weaned. So my answer to that is if you observe directly after you've had the baby out or even, you know, within the 12 hours, 24 hour time period after you've had the baby out with his friend, if all this, the environment is the same where his cage is, his cage is the same, you haven't really changed anything, you're, you're picking him up the same way from out of the cage. If he appears more flighty after he's had the play, se play session with his friend, or he appears nippier, or he just appears a lot more agitated, that's how you know it's too early for him to be spending A, that much amount of time with his friend, or spending time with a friend at all. So if you observe that, you want to just kind of reduce the amount of time they have with a, a, a parrot, another parrot friend, or eliminate it altogether. F try for another week with your taming, um, your taming process. Maybe try back the next week or give it two weeks and then go from there. So I hope you found these tips helpful. And I would like to be uh, putting out another video shortly about the importance of socialization and what you can do to help socialize your parrot. Thanks so much for watching.